Hey everyone, tonight I want to just do a little quick video about soft modding. Now I've been sent a couple of uh, units. This is the PAL and NTSC version of the typical soft mod, the original soft mod that uses, you know, a disc. Um, this came to me on Twitter via uh, Xbox Soft Mod Kit, which, which includes the Xbox controller to USB a female connector and you just choose obviously when you purchase because he does sell these the uh, the region of the drive you want so if you have nothing to do yourself or you don't have the technical knowledge or you may not have a PC you might just work off a tablet and a phone or whatever or just a phone so we're just going to plug this in first of all to controller number two which I can see it's registered um, controller number one I'm just running a crystal at the minute one that I've uh, I've yet to do any work on and we have an 8 meg this is my old trusty controller 8 meg uh, memory card which you can store stuff on this too so you can actually keep it on there if you if you want to use it on more than one console if you if you you know doing for other people that type of stuff or you're going to t-sop or hard mod and you just want to get the eprom data off that type of stuff okay let's switch we've got that plugged into controller number two now so let's switch over to the xbox and just take a quick look um and copy the files over okay running through a keiko hdmi this is um, you know what, when I first ordered this, I was told that they cloned it, but they must have done a bloody good job because this thing has been on a hundred plus consoles and I love it. So we're going to go into controller 2 and we're going to choose the game that we want. For me, it will be Splinter Cell. Um, so obviously, if you look, there's an outside and an inside. So highlight the inside one and then copy that over to your hard drive that's all I need and then we're going to do exactly the same with the Xbox soft modding tool and copy that which takes a little bit longer if you've had a console for a number of years of course you may have even forgotten how to do this because the brain is a bit of a sieve it does lose things over time okay right we are now just going to pop in a copy of splinter cell this is the classics edition so let's come out of there wait for this to boot Don't worry about the no signal. That's just when it doesn't kick out an actual signal. That's just my Ava Media 4K cap card doing that. Load the game up. Press start game. Press Linux. Press checkpoints. It's just AAA. Now at this point, it can sometimes stay black screened. If it does, if it does stay black screened, just turn it off, turn it back on, follow the process again. It always does it second time round. But but ours hasn't done it this time. So let's go into uh, into here and start loading files. Doing this in real time, just so you can pause the video and follow along. Okay, and there we go. That is us soft modded console will now reboot we need to 
eject disk and it will show the grey dash Again, there's just literally no signal. Quick reboot. And there we go. Now a good point a good thing to do at this point is if you connect in your Ethernet, um, just reboot again and then look at your network info there. If you open something like WinSCP or FileZilla or typical other FTP protocol, log into this, <coughs> get it all ready but don't connect and then just uh, username and password is Xbox set it to FTP protocol um, if you go to applications NK patcher settings what we'll do while we're here now you won't want to do this if you're on insignia um, it is already backed up to the E drive at this point but I don't actually use insignia because I'm too busy so we're gonna go to EEPROM sorry advanced features <laughs> I wondered what I missed it um, change e from hard HDD key. Now this can be reversed using the Rocky Five uh, Extras Utilities disk. So which you would burn to ISO, same way you burn a PS1 disk if you ever did that in the past, or the same way you might want to burn a film or a DVD. Uh, trying to f try and find a four point, I think it's four point seven, isn't it? 4.7 gig um, single layer DVD and do it on that something like verbatim is probably the best and it's just unlocked changed and relocked the hard drive there and now our HDD key is set to I think it's 32 ones it used to be zeros but now it's ones and then at this point you would click connect make sure the IP stayed the same it is DHCP yeah then you'd go to your E drive and then what you'd want to do is just drag drag and drop that into a folder that's marked up as you know sort of EEPROM dumps or something like that and there you go that is as simple as it is I will be back doing the end game one I would like to uh, do a lot more videos I do actually have now um, a, a 3000 zoom digital camera and I want to do some soldering and uh, a few other bits like that so there's that to come uh, let me show you just show you quickly one thing that I have been doing so one of my projects I have been doing very recently I, I do a lot of commissions these days um, since my how to make a halo um, Xbox console um, I do a lot of commissions for people these days, but I have done one a little bit harder than standard Xbox and I have gone and done um, the XCM Ruby Red um, Which thanks to Joel Peterson ie Custom Xbox direct on Etsy for the help um, He actually made me he's in the States and I'm in the UK, but he, he did make me the the drive letter in and this this is removable same as uh you know same as is that the right way around sorry <laughs> it is removable which is exactly the same as the original um three dots on there ah molded it back to front three dots on there that's how the xcm came bit of uv glue and a uv light to cure that and yeah, um, that's the new one, the one I made, I finished this yesterday, it was a nightmare to do, absolute nightmare, the glue bits was an absolute nightmare. Alright, that's it for me, um, 
I am not too sure if I will be doing a follow-up, a part two to the Halo. A lot of people have been trying it, and I don't really want to give all my tips and tricks away, unfortunately. So I'll have to debate, if I make one, what content I'll put in it. It's got a little bit like that for will they steal the work off me, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back with Endgame very, very soon. Cheers.